不一样。Yeah, we have discussed about the、uh, replication sets as the next topic. Let's go ahead and see how to use replication set in the using the YAML configuration. Okay. So here,、uh, app version you can give v1, or you have to mention apps slash v1. That is the、uh, newest way of using the API version. Okay, and then the kind here states the replication set. So that's how you differentiate between the YAML files. Okay, and then metadata we are going to define the name and label. Inside that also we are、uh, keeping a na、uh, name and Type of a label, which is usually called as front end, and then you have the specification template. You are using your、uh, name as my application, and inside that you are giving the labels. Okay, so here,、uh, if you have to note the difference between the replication controller and replication set, it will be the usage of labels. Okay, so why this usage of la labels will play an important role is because. Whenever you are running multiple applications in Kubernetes, so why we are learning Kubernetes is because we need to know how to manage a number of applications in terms of containers, right? So for that, the only way to manage all these containers is to segregate using labels. Only then you will know which application is running for which client or for which group. Okay, so it might be different for different different clients or different.、Um, Companies, but label will definitely help us group all these things together. Okay, so here under the containers, we are going to create a container called as Nginx Container Application, and then the image we are going to use is Nginx. And here the replicas we are giving three. You can change the number of replicas as per the requirement. But but for now, let's give replicas three only. And、uh, yeah, in the selectors, we are giving wherever. Uh, the label is there with my application. You have to match that application, match that particular label. Okay, go ahead and save this. Next, we are going to run this one using the command called as create. Okay, so here you have to replace your file name. So the command will be kubectl create hyphen f and your file name dot. Yeah. Actually, that pronunciation is cube cutel. Yeah, but I pronounce it. Yes, yes. <laughs> pronounce it as CTL because yes, that's I... something different. No, so what I do, cube and CTL is what I okay, do. Okay, yes. No, yes. what did you say? Cube let is something different, right? No, some actually I saw some videos. They have actually pronunciation is cube cutel. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, same thing. Only they are doing CTL、yes. for CTL. Only they are telling. Cartel,、uh, yes. Cartel, ah,、huh? okay. Cartel. Okay. What what is that? Do we have any error? Okay. Ah,、uh, can we go back to the definition? Yeah. Open the file. Let's figure out what is the error. Ah, same thing. There in the type, no, you have、content. to give a space. Type content, yes. Yes. Yeah, front end type front come end down, is there. Come down, no? come down, come down. Type labels below labels. Type yes. yes. Give space after. No, no, no. They are not. Don't do. Not, not, not there.、Uh, after, after colon. colon after colon, give the space. Okay, yeah. Go ahead and save it. Okay, so let's see the pods. Cube CTL get pods hyphen o y. Okay, so here those three things, which is, oh sorry. Which is getting created、uh, with 
my app replication my app hyphen replica replica set right so those are the those three uh, containers that are being started with the replication set okay so this is also a similar concept to replication controller but with the label advantage as well okay so uh, the operations which you have, we have seen like uh, if you want to delete the delete a particular pod and see if the pods will be automatically up yes it will go ahead and uh, start your new pod with the configuration because it has the replicas as three so it it will make sure that always three pods keep running okay so now let's go ahead and see how to scale the replica set because now just because uh, we have a huge request we might be requesting for having a replicas of three going forward if you feel that uh, you need to increase the load like based on the number of users being using your application uh, after some days you want to increase the replicas right so how will you do that one thing is go to the yaml file change that replicas number right or you can also do that using this command okay so i'm going to ping this command okay so scale hyphen hyphen replicas is equal to six hyphen f and your file name so can we change the replicas to four and then check the uh, pods if it is automatically taking that change Give the uh, change, uh, yeah, change the file name. Yes. Okay, it is telling that your replica replica set got scaled. Yes. Let's check that. So now you see four entries for your replica set. Okay. So this is how you can go ahead and scale the number of pods that you want to run using your replication set. Okay. This is the overview uh, of understanding how your Kubernetes will work. Okay, now let's go ahead and see how to use the Azure Kubernetes service in Azure DevOps. Okay, because most of the companies doesn't want to have a standalone system like this. Because what is the um, pain pain thing here to have this being maintained is that you will have to manage it and they need to keep resources to manage this regularly which is little bit um, painful to have okay so that's where they would uh, go ahead and prefer because this is something related to applications right so even if uh, if there is a small mistake in managing the containers or if the node fails or the pod fails and if we did not look into that right what happens is the entire application will go down which is not uh, what the business will expect right so for that the safest way what they will do is that they will either purchase the eks solution that is your uh, aws solution or aws kubernetes service or azure kubernetes service okay so let's look at the azure kubernetes service and also we will look how to use that in azure devops okay for that i want you to uh go to the azure portal currently you are in your organization you are service sorry ganesh uh, your voice is little low no no currently what you are using i am using aks aks yes There's, there's no much difference between AKS and EKS. It's only that if your company is using uh, Microsoft products, they would prefer using AKS. If they are not using that and if they are using AWS products, then they will take uh, EKS. Okay. Yes. So now I want you to go ahead and create few services. Uh, AWS it is available, right? EKS. Yeah, yeah, it is available. You can see it is uh, Elastic Kubernetes Service. Okay, before that, I want you to uh, have a repository for testing our Azure Kubernetes. 
service okay give me a second i'm going to share that repository url with that so that you can uh, use that there Give me a second, I'm searching the uh, repository which has that project. Meanwhile, we can go ahead and create the uh, resources that we require for this uh, integration, okay? So we need uh, ACR, that is your Azure Container Registry. We need AKS resource and also we need Azure SQL, okay? We go to the Azure uh, Cloud Shell because we're going to execute the commands for that. Uh, you can take these commands in a notepad also and share it to the team so that uh, they'll have all the list of commands. Okay, yeah. So this is to check the uh, AKS version, okay, the latest version. Yeah, copy this to notepad and give the, um, change the region. Give it as West Europe or something. Uh, anything uh, I need to change about from location? Yes, uh, give me a second. Uh, AZ AKS get version, West Europe query. No, that's it. So the version will be saved in that uh, keyword. Okay, that is version. We are going to use that next. Okay. So now we are going to uh we are going to create a resource group okay so take this one and the location you give it as west europe this command in a notepad where you will have to give the uh, name unique name this will be the name of the AKS okay I think the second command you missed in the notepad is it version you have given and the um, group creation you have missed uh, so that will be a like 
a revision also for you. No, uh, you copy the same command. Is it group create hyphen hyphen name? You can copy it from the chat also. Yeah, correct. So now here we are going to create the uh, Kubernetes cluster that is Azure Kubernetes cluster. The command is AZ AKS for that AKS service. Create resource group is the resource group name what we gave and name should be unique AKS cluster name. OK, so yeah, uh, remove that and give the cluster name. No, uh, no caps, only small letters. Yes. Okay. Practice AKS 2020. One minute. Okay. Practice AKS 2020. Yeah. Enable add ons, monitoring, yes, and version. It will take from the version variable, generate SSH key, that's fine. Location, you will have to give it as the same location, West Europe. take a little bit of time. Meanwhile, you can uh, prepare the next command. So next one is to create the ACR, right? So that is your Azure Container Registry. For the container, so. Yes, this is to store the containers. Means, yeah, images. Operation field with bad request provisioning of resources for container service. This one in resource group failed. Operation could not be completed as it results in exceeding approved total region. Okay, course quota additional details. Deployment model resource manager West Europe. Current limit four. Current usage one. Additional required six. Okay. okay, did you create anything else also in uh, West Europe? The other uh, uh, things also as well, right? Mm, nothing ex uh, apart from VMs, I didn't create anything. Yeah, no? yeah, VMs it's... only. Uh, because what usually happens when we create AKS, it is internally creating the machines also, right? So now uh, when you're working with Kubernetes, you created the machines as well, right? Yeah, yeah. So it needs six uh, machines. But it is telling it has only current limit of four. And one is being used. Uh, that's what it is telling. So uh, can you delete the resources which are part of West Europe? Mm, it Anyways, on. now uh, the machines are not required, right? The virtual machines where we were working for Kubernetes, right? One, so those two machines, I think it's not minute. required. One minute. Actually, the machines are in East yes. This is for practice we have created. Uh, should I delete it actually? Yeah, yeah. If you're not using the machines, delete it. It's better. Or so else, you will have the space. Okay, so if I stop it, uh, it will so still affect. It also will take a little bit. Like stop means 80% of the allocation will be free, but still 20% data uh, and volumes will be will consume. Okay. It's better to delete if you're not, if you don't need it. Okay. Okay, I'll go find no problem. Even West Europe, only one VM is there actually. One and West US 2. Yes, yes, yes. 
West Europe one is there, but I need to know uh, like whether you have the uh, eligibility to create AKS in free trial. Okay, let's go ahead and delete it. At least one in West Europe and retry the command. Let's see if that helps. I got deleted. Let me try once. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. It's still running. No, this is in the store on the internet, I think. Yeah, I think there are a lot of resources. See if you can, if you really need all these things. Otherwise, if you're fine to delete all these things. Okay. This was all created for practice only, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you can go ahead and delete it. Yeah, Please try now. Still, uh, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, just telling additional. Okay, that's fine. Just telling uh, regional quota, right? Course quota. Course. Okay. Can we change the location? Um, yeah. 
Yeah. In this command only, change the location to. Uh, I think Central India is there. I think. Mm, but resources should be available. Let's try that once. Central India or Southeast? Uh, gives in, uh, anything. Southeast also you can give. Southeast from the beginning you have to create the resource group and all the things. I think that's fine. Let's try once. We can't move the resources, right? From one region to other region. Mm, no, I think. I want to see if the error is that or is it because of the subscription? See. Till now we didn't deploy any resource here, right? but actually it is telling this quota is limited to only to four. Uh, what is it telling? Uh, current limit four. Required is six is what it is telling, right? Yeah. I don't think it's the region issue, it's the quota issue. Okay. Uh, okay, Ganesh, do you also have free trial uh, subscription only? Uh, one minute. Uh, try another subscription. Can I check from my side? Is it possible? Yeah, yeah. Even you start running these commands. Uh, let's see if anyone like out of you two gets that uh, Kubernetes cluster, then we can. Yeah. Uh, one more thing is change the um, resource group name. Okay. Let version be there. Uh, AZ group create hyphen hyphen name is there now. So instead of uh, that particular name, yes. Action, actions on lab is there, no? Yeah, uh, remove that and create your own uh, group. No caps. You created the resource group. Yeah, I have created the resource group. Okay, yeah, go ahead.
any vm is getting created uh, using this command no right it will get created vm mm. internally mm, i think you should be able to see that as well let's check is this command still running or it is running it is running it will take a little bit of time because it is a cluster right so it will take okay. a little bit of time Yeah, I think it will it will create. This is not the VM actually. It is different. Practice VM is what is created based on the resource group practice hyphen r uh, underscore rg. This is your uh, machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It is different actually. something different for me <laughs> what happened what happened ganesh it is, it is showing something different for me is it a error so some, no how some ssh key file something mm. some location it's the same it's the same here as well oh that one is something different this one is something different insufficient privilege to complete the operation oh you went through uh, cloud shell only no ha yes yes and you are the owner for this um, portal your portal yes. or your just member i think <laughs> that one is not i don't have privilege i think That's, That's what uh, you don't have the root uh, admin. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Not even a single resource got created. No, no. The resource group got created. Yeah, uh, hit on enter or something or refresh. Should not take this much of time. At least it should progress, because if it is not creating any resources in that uh, group, then something is wrong. It is not creating. or maybe uh, based on uh, location as well it might take a little bit of time because nowadays the azure services right it's it's not performing that great 
and that to AKS means it's a cluster, no? So it will definitely take a little bit of time. Uh, before it used to take five to ten minutes. But now I'm not sure if it is taking more than that. Let's wait for some more. Okay, then uh, let's wait. Uh, otherwise, uh, what to do? Mm. Okay. Try creating the uh, AKS, AKS in other locations as well. Like not only in West Europe, try with other regions as well. Uh, let me see which region. Usually West Europe should be responding as early as possible. Uh, let me check. This error I am getting also. Same error, huh? Yes, yes. SSH keys thing. Yes, yes, right. Can't we create this manually? I mean, instead of cloud shell? You can create it. Can try that way. At least we will know the progress, right? Mm, yeah. Okay, just refresh this group once again. Resource group, if nothing is happening, let's go ahead and do that. I don't think anything is getting created. Yeah. It a control Z. Okay. So now, uh, okay. Search on AKS. Yeah. Click on add. Cluster, right? We are creating yes, cluster. Yes, yes, yes. Here no VM is required, right? Or it will it's under a, it will no, run it, under the any VM. It should run under the VM. It will internally create. Practice against yeah. yeah. Version key for notice version. This is the latest version, right? Mm, that's not the latest one. But uh, okay, uh, give dollar version. Uh, print the dollar version in uh, Cloud Shell. Yeah, type in dollar version just to see which is the latest version. Dollar version. Dollar version. Uh, uh, dollar symbol. Dollar symbol and version. Uh, no space between those two. Gosh. This one is the bash version. Echo, echo dollar version, I think. One point eighteen point two. Uh, okay. Yeah, select that version itself. The preview one. Yes, eight. that is the latest one. No? Okay. Not size. Not count two. 
Yeah, give only two. Okay, no ports. Okay. This is a node, sir. Yeah, uh, it is the agent pool uh, that your nodes will be added. Like to, uh, to contain your uh, nodes, it needs a pool, right? So that is your agent pool, okay? Okay, that Come pool two nodes are there, all right? Yes, yes. Uh, virtual nodes we are not enabling and VM scales it you can disable or enable also that's fine because anyways we are going to uh, test it only you know yeah but it is a good thing to keep it as enabled so that when you're running in production uh, yeah it will be useful okay yes service points authentication mm -hmm. should I configure a new one no, it is by default. It will take uh, create a new one, and oh, it has to map. Yeah, it has to map that particular uh, service principle to this Kubernetes cluster. So RBAC oh. will be used. Let it be enabled. What is RBAC? RBAC is role based uh, role based access control. Like if you want to authenticate uh, the relationship, right? That means uh, for this Kubernetes cluster, who should be allowed? To connect to that, we need a service principle. You remember that we used a service principle even to add the machines to uh, our Azure DevOps. OK, so it is an authentication type. Like your login and password, your uh, RBAC will also be used along with service principle. OK. Let's go to networking. Let it be all default one itself. Mm. Okay, go to integrations. I don't, yeah, your container registry we had to integrate, but that's fine. We will do that later as well. Mm. Yeah, let it be enabled. Let it be enabled. That logs will get stored in this log yeah. analytics. Correct, correct. Set on. and create it. We are creating another subscription. Okay, fine. Okay. So in containers, can we run the very large scale applications like SAP? Mm, right now, actually, they are not like SAP is not into containers because um, they don't have the application like SAP application is not microservice architecture. They're okay. trying to do that. Okay. So applications which are related to micro services they are only getting deployed into kubernetes for no uh, not not like that even even if the application is not a microservice even if it is a standalone application even that you can use uh, the only thing why they are not going into kubernetes to do all these things is that um, as you know that managing all the application in one thing is little quite complex right 
So they won't do it in one shot. They will start doing face by face. Okay. Okay. Until so, and unless they have the control over all the applications. Okay. So what kind of applications actually will but will get deployed into these containers? Uh, all kind of applications like your Java application, .NET application, but mostly the custom applications like your company's applications will be uh, using in containers. That means in your Kubernetes. I have a production uh, requirement. I'll share that with you. Okay, with you all so that uh, okay. you will practical usage how we are going to use all these things. Okay. Sooner we will have a large scale applications also um, deployed in Kubernetes. So like your job is to uh, deploy the deploy the top Usually, container. Or? No, my job is to create the pipelines and uh, give it to that particular team based on their custom applications. Like uh, we have in our organizations, we have around like one organization has 200 applications. Other application has, uh, I think, 20 projects. That means 20 applications. So they want me to create a uh, pipeline end to end pipeline and uh, give them the analysis like how it is performing and uh, the complete CI and CD flow they want me to create. So those applications it might be uh, right now I'm dealing with um, .NET mostly .NET Angular and React applications. Uh, Node applications also. So I need to create the flow for all those projects and if something goes wrong right uh, I need to figure that out why it is failing whether it is a developer's perspective testers perspective or even if it is a browser specific issues all those things I need to handle okay it's only that you find the error tell it to them they'll correct but again you will have to rerun the pipeline to see if it is running uh, as expected Okay. So, browser related issues are coming. Browser usually you get only for testing thing. Like I'm dealing with a testing team, wherein uh, for them the test cases uh, we are working on a Selenium test cases. Okay, so they will have to check with uh, Chrome extensions and all those things. No, so that's where your browser thing will come. It's like like extra thing uh, only. All the and means content application browser compatibility issues, right? That one you are saying or anything else? Uh, no, like if you want to run your particular application, uh, they want to have the Chrome extension also to be installed in pipelines because pipelines will not know what Chrome they are going to check in uh, your local. It might work fine because uh, you will know which Chrome version you are using and what extension you need to install right for azure devops what happens is we need to have an extension which is called as a, a test runner okay for your test cases to run if that is present only then it will go ahead and start running your test cases okay, okay so you need to make sure that extension is also present in pipelines as well because pipelines means it will take the random system no it will not take uh, the one which we uh, register in case if it is not working with the Microsoft hosted agents, you have to use the self hosted agents wherein you will have to uh, register your machine which has the extension already installed and then uh, specify that uh, machine whenever you're running the pipeline. Okay. okay, yeah, I think now our um, AKS is ready. Uh, let's go ahead and create the ACR. I think for creating the ACR, um, you can go ahead with the command slash shell. I think it's there in the notepad, right? The command. Uh, 
uh, change the name of the uh, resource group and the uh, what is that yeah name should be fine name should be fine location yeah west europe what is the command in this one this is for creating the acr Okay, can we go ahead to the next one? Uh, registry we have deployed in this resource group, but uh, it is not showing. I think you did you give the other resource group? No, no, no. same resource group again. See the command one. cnt hyphen rc only you give no for creating aks did you select the same thing yeah it is you have selected the same thing yeah. refresh once the portal and also see the acr thing yeah scroll down yeah got it got it yeah okay so now we will have to store the client id uh, because this is the id which is required to communicate between the acr and also the aks okay so whenever you created the aks uh, you were seeing acr option as well but we did not have the acr already created otherwise we could have linked there itself okay so go ahead and um, give the uh, dollar resource group should be the name of your uh, resource group cluster name should be your cluster uh, aks cluster name and give this one Okay, which stores the client ID, uh, client ID value in client ID variable. Then we have ACR value to be stored in ACR ID. Then we are going to bind these two using role assignment. Only then you will know, uh, you will have the connection between your ACR and also your AKS. Okay, until and unless they have the connection. Last time you remember we were dealing with uh, Docker and we did not uh, link the uh, Docker with the Docker image with the ACR. That was the problem, right? Uh, later we uh, figured that out. So here let's do that binding now itself. Okay, so I think this is command is for Android. Uh, yeah, wait, wait. resource group is this one only. Name is this one. Query. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, let's take the ACR ID. ACR ID. It is there in the chat. Yes. Oh, yeah. Not this one, above one. Take it in the notepad. Take it in the notepad. Not here. You need to modify that. Okay. So here, give the ACR name. Uh, resource group. ACR okay. name and resource group name also. No, that is the cluster name, right? It's not the ACR name. What was the ACR name you gave? Check. Come down. Ah, that one. Resource group is same, yes. Okay, execute this. Okay, 
Next, copy the role assignment. Go ahead and paste it directly. Uh, also paste it in the notepad so that we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paste, paste it in the notepad as well. So now uh, let's go ahead and create a SQL server. Okay. This will extend. Okay. Today let's extend for some time because we have all the resources created. Uh, let's finish this. The region. Change the region. No, uh, no you have to edit little. Uh, change the region and also. AKS name as well. Yeah. Oh, that was resource group name, right? So, yeah. 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 Okay, server name you give SQL server. Yeah, give practice one only. That is fine. SQL admin. Yeah, let it be. Username and password. Let it be SQL admin and this password only. Yeah. Take the code for SQL uh, DB creation. We created the SQL server. We need to create a DB. Uh, paste it in the notepad and then let's change the resource group name. Yes. What this command will do actually this client after creating the client the ID is the uh, ID that is that is the what is that um, uh, service principal ID. OK, so whenever you create that uh, cluster, you you saw the subscription. ID. Uh, sorry, uh, you saw the service principal ID also, right? So that yeah. is the unique ID that you that you can use to connect with other resources. So that is the ID that we are going to retrieve using this client ID. We are going to save that value under client ID and then we are going to save the ACR ID along uh, with ACR underscore ID. Then we are going to do the role assignment. Okay, no. only then it will have the connection between these two resources. Okay. Right? It's between uh, uh, registry yeah. and uh, AKS. Registry and AKS, correct. Okay. Yeah, it is running. Meanwhile, uh, go ahead and take this um, repository and import it there. In your Azure DevOps, OK? OK. Credential, I'm giving you. Create a new project as AKS. Inside that project, clone this repository, means import this repository. Create a new project.
give that credentials, yes. Clone URL is incorrect. Go to the end. Authorization uh, clone URL is correct. Authorization just check if this is the same. Uh, name you give something else. It is exist. I give AKS one. A key is one, yeah. Okay, it will start importing. Uh, it will take a little bit of time. Let's go back to our resources. Yeah, we have a skills for SQL DP. Okay. What was that? I think we have to, we had to create the SQL uh, DB. Oh no, it was created. Yes. Huh? Yeah, yes. Uh, meanwhile, we'll, uh, we'll just create a service connection. This is different uh, Azure account again, actually. Okay. No problem. We'll, we'll do that uh, later going forward, okay? Mm. Okay, so now we have all the resources. Let's go ahead and um, okay. Let's wait for the uh, this one then. What is that? Mm -hmm. so repository is done, right? So give me a second. I'm going to give you a file wherein you can import that to. Uh, the pipeline okay so take this file uh, let it be in downloads Go ahead and uh, go ahead, uh, yeah, to this. Click on uh, pipelines. Uh, in the three dots, not create pipeline. Uh, go back, three dots, import a pipeline. Browse the one that we just downloaded. Yes, take that, import. Okay, this is also an, another way of importing the pipelines as well. Okay. Yes. So here, uh, go to the replace. Yeah, uh, go to all the, uh, this one, settings. First one is agent pool. So select the agent pool. Azure pipelines and select uh, Ubuntu 16. Because this is the Docker architecture, right? Yes. Go to the get sources. Select Azure Repos Git. Yes, come down. Team project, select AKS1. And then the master. Yes, that's right. So let's go to the uh, next one. Replace token in app settings, JSON. Okay. Uh, Task version, what is this? Uh, no, it should give you other. Um, 
out we have to give some time hmm time out we have to give some time zero no 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 it ha it should have few other configurations as well click on that uh, replace tokens in app settings why view yaml is also not present okay go to the next one replace tokens in mhc did it remove these two oh there to your right hand side you have remove yes remove the first one also okay just save this just to make sure that the template is there okay yeah now um add the replace tokens as uh, again click on replace tokens okay the extension was not available that's why okay click on get it free go to the organization yeah pipeline oh uh, this one only click on that pipeline edit now use the replace pipeline add the replace uh, sorry replace token Add it. Uh, add it at the end, uh, at the start. Drag and drop it to the first. Yes. Okay. So, give the display name to replace the tokens uh, for app settings. Okay. So, give this display name, and then give the directory root directory as this. display name yes root directory copy that by okay target files take this okay fine so now uh, clone the same step If you want to copy the same step, you need to clone it. Yes, clone task. Yes, that one. Uh, replace the display name with this. Root directory not required. Uh, remove the root directory value. In the target files, give mhc. Uh, yeah, whatever I've been given. That YAML file, yes. This should be under the target files. We don't require a root directory for this. Yes. Okay. And go to the next one. Run services. Yeah. Select. Okay. You will have to configure that. Is it Azure subscription? Okay. Yeah. Then let's do one thing. Let's continue tomorrow because I think it is going to take a little more time. because yeah. we are still in the build pipeline build pipeline we need to configure then release pipeline also we need to configure yeah, and save it for now yeah you save it for now tomorrow we will go ahead and continue ah so can you share the uh, files just yes give me a second hello yes